y'all. Russ here over here TV. Welcome. Check it out. What a view, huh? This is uh, Highway 95. We're heading down to Portsight, but we're going to take this scenic route today. Going to cut over around Parker Dam and also stop at one of my favorite places that I go to every year several times. It's just scenic, pretty, relaxing right along uh, the Colorado River and beautiful Lake Havasu. Today is Thursday, October 26th. Good grief. This month is almost gone and happy Halloween coming up. Going down, going to do a little filming down around town. Also uh, have a little bit more to do around River Sands RV Resort. Anyway, I thought we'd go down to California side of Parker Dam Road. Picture perfect weather. And I mean picture perfect. This is what being in the desert in the fall is all about. eighties during the day and sixties at night. Okay, you're gonna make a right here. This is called 95 Spur. We can actually drive across the dam, but guess what? We're going to make a little side trip up here. I kind of discovered this place years ago just by out goofing off. You know, after the hustle and bustle of Quartzsite every winter, I was always trying to explore around, and I stumbled on this uh, little park up here. It's uh, called Takeoff Point. There's the mighty Parker Dam off the left. There's Colorado River. But we're going to go up over this hill, and it's just picture perfect, great fishing. Here it is, yay! Takeoff Point Recreation Area. Very historic here, too. I mean, when they built the dam back in the 30s, you know, that was all part of the, when they created Hoover Dam and also Parker Dam, Lake Havasu. Wait to see the view from up here. And here it is. What we'll do first, I'm going to drive down to the end. Road dead ends down at the bottom. Then we'll work our way back up. But here's the starting point of Lake Havasu. We're a good 30 miles from town itself. You just wind right down here. It's not very big. See those parking areas off to the left? You can actually uh, park your boat and trailer here for several days. I think it's 72 hours up to 10 days. Don't that water look good? Talk about fishing. This is where all of the fishermen come launch their boats. 
Wow, we got placed ourselves. All right, we say get parked, take a little walk. the van ever since I got back from the summer travels a couple weeks ago I haven't even cleaned it out yet nice little fishing dock here ramp but they got a boat launch and this is as far as you can go right here on Lake Havasu you always see fishermen down here Call that a log boom. No boats. They generate a ton of power out of Havasu. And look at the water level. It is way up. You know, Lake Mead, I just seen on the news. It's up over 20 feet from last year. We got to run up there. We will there in a couple weeks or so. Want to go up around Laughlin and uh, Bullhead City, all those areas up there. And guess what? You can actually camp by boat along the shores of Lake Havasu. There's actually little uh, camp areas right along the shoreline. You can only get to it by boat. There's a fee for it. But a lot of people don't realize that. You can actually camp right along the shorelines of uh, beautiful Lake Havasu and talk about having to do yourself. <laughs> that would be it. There's a fisherman heading out. Not much wind, nice and calm. I still don't want a boat. <laughs> I had boats, yuckies. I mean, they're okay, but ton of work. They sit in the driveway 11 months out of the year. If I ever had another boat, it'd be like a pontoon boat. Look at that, clear water, you can see right down in there. Little restroom down here. They got fish cleaning stations. Picnic table. I mean, just for day use. I've always seen people come down here for day use. I do it. And that's California state line, Arizona, California, middle of the water. Colorado River forms it. That's California, that little hill right across there. Look at that power lines from the dam. We can, we'll really get a good shot of that when we get up top. Then straight over the water there, there's a fishing area. You have to walk out to it. You can actually fish right at the base of the dam. You know, that dam's like 200, 300 feet. There's a sign on the other side. We'll stop, check it once we cross it.
There you can see the fishing area. They got little ramps. Restroom. We're going to go up top to that pavilion up there. Fish on. Always see people fishing there. It must be a really good spot. There's a different look at Havasu Springs. There is a lot of mobile homes there. That entire island just covered. What a contrast in the water compared to the brownish red dirt and the blue water. But what a view, huh? See all the power lines over there from the dam? Well, let's head up top. Yeah, I thought on this trip we'll explore the entire side of uh, Parker Dam from the California side. We're going to cut out through Vidal, try to find some old uh, historic ghost town and all kinds of cool stuff. Right there, that little uh, side road that takes you out to that fishing area. You can park down there. There's only like three or four parking places. Once again, this place is not very big. Then right up here is another great day use area. A little pavilion up here. Here's a marker over here. Takeoff point. They're not kidding. Always think about the workers. I mean, there was, what, hundreds, probably a thousand workers building these dams. This one right down here. Both sides of the river back then. Back in the 30s. That totally different world. They camped and lived right around along the waterways. When we go down uh, the Parker Dam side in California, there's actually a town called Crossroads. We'll drive through there. There's old remnants of the original town down there where a lot of the workers lived. Look at this thing. I've seen it driving in. Portable boat cleaning station. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that water's way up. That's as, probably as high as it gets. They generate a lot of power out of this thing. There's a big RV park. On the California side over there, it's called Black Meadow Landing. I've done a couple videos on that. There you can see a car going across the dam. We're going to do that pretty quick, too.
There's the van. Yeah, this is quite a setup. Looks like it has a vacuum on it. Water for cleaning the boat because they don't want you bringing in any uh, algae or mussels stuck to the boat holes. It's kind of a big deal. That is quite the setup, even solar powered. Well, what do you say? Let's cut across a dam. Away we go. Leaving Arizona. <laughs> You can time travel here too because there's a uh, time zone change. Right now, uh, Arizona is the same time as California, but when it uh, goes back to standard time, there's an hour difference. So you could actually uh, have two New Year's Eve celebrations one right here and then go across the dam, and <laughs> one on the other side. That'd make a good video, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy seeing that. This is, like I said earlier, one of my favorite little stops. Usually do one here in the fall, and then uh, springtime, I like to come back up in here. All right, here is the mighty Parker Dam. You can't bring RVs across here, or pole trailers. They'll stop you. Just regular vehicles, vans, pickup trucks, that kind of thing. There's guards right there in the little shack. They always wave. If you go up and talk to them, you can park there and go up and talk to them. They usually give you like a little brochure about the dam. No more tours here. Uh, they used to, I guess, years ago, offer tours, but after 9-11, everything changed. But what great access, you can still drive it. Very few crossings on the Colorado. A lot of miles apart. Here you go. Welcome to California. There's the other guard. He just waved. All right, right up here are some storyboards. I'll get parked, we'll check them. Looks like they're installing a new security gate. Alright. Here they are right here. Roads for Adventure. There's a diagram how deep this uh, dam is. Close to 300 feet. Thing is huge. Getting close to 100 years old. Built in the 30s. Hard to believe we're almost in the 30s again. Then Parker Dam Road itself. Absolutely historic. Now it's all RV resorts way back. Nothing but miners. And not only did they build the dam, they built that aqueduct system for hauling water over to California. Matter of fact, we'll stop and see some of that stuff today. Always something on RV or TV. There you go. Parker Dam Road. Back Country Byway.
Look at the size of that crane. Open the gates. Let the water flow through. Then power grid. That concrete's been there a long time. All the workers down there, that's where they generate the power. Yeah, too bad they didn't offer tours like they used to. Wind picked up pretty good. There you go. There's a little look at her. That is one well-watered tree. <laughs> it's probably as old as a dam, huh? Well, cool. That's about all you can see here. Cool storyboards. A little bit of the dam. But what do you say? Let's uh, keep on rolling. We got some more exploring to do. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. There you can sign up for my free newsletter. I'm trying to put one out twice a month now. There you can find out about future travels, kind of like this one, going across Parker Dam, and exploring all this historic area. Once again, it's rvrtv.tv. There's the mighty Colorado River. Look at all those homes right on the water. That is high-end real estate. That's the Arizona side. Then down here is all their maintenance buildings plus homes for the workers. They live right here. Oh wow, look what I see. This is the turnoff for Black Metal Landing, but look at this guy. <laughs> He's been waiting for us. How about this uh, big-eared fella? <laughs> He's waiting to go down to Black Meadow. Hey, he goes, you got any treats? <laughs> All right, what do you say? Let's keep on trucking down Parker Dam Road on the California side. This is one of the prettiest drives you could ever take. Both sides of the river. About a week ago, we did the Arizona side. Now we're gonna truck down to California. We're gonna end up clear out in Vidal, then heading south towards Blythe. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>